I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth, in all this excitement, I have kind of lost track myself. But Ian, this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, Buck? Rocket Subway Fire! <laughs> information to put out but uh, I'm gonna film this weekend and get some information out some updates on some gear and I'm also going to show you a little bit about what you can do on the weekends or at least um, besides working out and going out and hanging with some friends I'm on the way right now to a hibachi buffet so right now I'm picking up some of the guys from the platoon and we've kind of made this tradition on Friday nights we go out to this hibachi buffet and it also has sushi and like a Chinese buffet portion as well. So you can get like a bunch of noodles and meat and vegetables and they'll you know do it up on the grill in front of you and then they'll give you a plate with some sauce on it. And then uh, my personal favorite is the sushi bar. It's actually really good sushi for a Chinese buffet. So I crush probably like $70 worth of sushi every time I go there because that's pretty much all I eat. And it's really good. Uh, it has cheap beer and a lot of the guys from the platoon uh, we have like 20 some odd people come out from our platoon each week to this so it's kind of like a little tradition for us We get to know each other better hang out. It's a good time and it's really cheap It's like ten dollars for the buffet and the beers are really inexpensive as well. So that's also a good thing I'll try to get some footage. So a kind of funny story. Maybe not so funny so I had weapons guard last night at uh, 2 o'clock to 3.30 and so I had weapons guard, I came back and I set my alarm and I was ready to wake up, drink some coffee, eat a hard boiled egg and then go and get, you know, go ruck. Well, it turns out that I set my alarm for the way wrong time and got a call from my squad leader saying, hey, where are you? I was already late. So I was like, I, I got up in my uniform faster than I've ever gotten in my uniform, got to, uh, the company and then just boarded the bus and uh, went and did the ruck but that was that feeling when you wake up and you're late somewhere is the worst feeling ever and uh, but it uh, worked out and I was able to complete the ruck I didn't miss anything but that's just the worst feeling I've never been late to a formation and that, <laughs> that was just a really a bad feeling deep down when you when you realize that you're not where you're supposed to be on time Some gear updates as well as some new gear to show you guys first set of new gear that I wanted to show you is these um, black diamond knee pads and they're super thin and they have these uh, good clasps on them instead of buckles like your issued knee pads and these are good I needed some new knee pads because my main problem with the issued knee pads is that they kept sliding down my knee so if I was running and doing a flanking maneuver uh, the knee pads would be by my ankles by the end of it and that's just unacceptable so I need to save my knees here and I wanted to get something good so these black diamonds are about $55 on Amazon I'll post a link below another set of good knee pads um, is, they're called Arcteryx and I'll also post that link below. A lot of guys have those and they don't really fall down uh, my knees either. I've tried them out. These, I got really good reviews online on YouTube as well. Some, for some, other, some other people who have tried them. I like the fact that they had two, uh, three different sections. One at the top and one at the bottom. And that kind of would buckle to my, my thigh and then my calf. 
The only problem with these is that whenever you run, they kind of get bunched up like this. So, um, but they don't fall down. That's the main thing. They do. They stay where they, where they, um, where they're supposed to on your knees. So your knees will not be exposed. Uh, so that's overall a pretty good review. I think if I had to do it again, I would get the Arcteryx though. So make your own decision. Um, but these are definitely a good buy. And I would suggest getting some good knee pads if you're coming to iBullock. Another piece of gear I got is a Nalgene Canteen. So if you spend any amount of time in the Army, you know that the canteens they give you, they issue you, taste like, taste really bad. They taste like rubber. Um, and that's probably the best it would taste like rubber. But a lot of times, if you don't empty them out and clean them often, they get moldy and they're really nasty to drink from. The Nalgene ones, um, you can kind of see through. They're not hard like a normal Nalgene water bottle, like you would get the cylinder ones. They're kind of squishy, a little bit thinner plastic maybe, um, but it's pretty solid. It doesn't have, obviously, the, the uh, NBC drinking cap that you can plug through your uh, gas mask, but this tastes so much better. So when you're out in the field and you're drinking from the water buffalo, at least your water will taste somewhat decent. So this has been a good investment. This was $10 on Amazon as well. I'll post that link below. Well, the last piece of new gear is these Oakley Light Assault Boots. I had mentioned these in a video um, a few videos back when I showed you guys the Oakley SI website. Um, and I wound up getting these over New Year's uh, they had a sale, uh, so they were on sale for $84. They had free shipping for New Year's, and they, and I had a 10% off coupon when you that you get when you sign up for Oakley SI. So they were like they were like $84 with tax and everything shipped to me here at Abrams. These are probably the most comfortable boots I've ever put on my feet. Now each person's foot is different, but um, they're soup they're they're unbelievably light. Um, they, are, they feel like a sneaker. So if anyone's looking for a new pair of boots, these are very good. I don't know about rucking in them. I haven't tried them yet, but these are very comfortable. Um, what else can I say about them? They're the sand ones. So if you have the new OCP uniforms, they do make these in the Coyote, but those are $94, uh, which are still very good. If you get them in the store, they're about 150 or so. So these are the Oakley Light Assault Boot. Now for an update, these are the Garment T8 Bifidas that I showed you guys a couple of videos ago. They are holding up really well. I have now laced this eyelet that I had mentioned was giving me problems before. And now that they're broken in, they do not give me any problems. I did a five mile ruck in them over Christmas break. They felt great, um, very durable. Uh, these are definitely gonna be my go-to field boots from now on. They're a little bit heavy. They're not as light as those Oakleys I just showed. But these are solid boots. They're getting, they're definitely getting their, their, uh, I'm getting my money out of them for sure. So if anyone's looking for a good solid boot, I can't recommend these enough. So I have a book update. And last video I'd mentioned, I was reading the book about the infantry battle in ancient Greece. And I had mentioned that I was getting a new book. And this is the book I got. It's called Islamic Exceptionalism. And... This was recommended to me by one of the other students in, the, in my platoon. He's doing a PhD in counter-unconventional warfare. And he has a really good grasp on the issues um, facing the Islamic world and why there's tensions and varying theological disputes and um, how Islam coexists with uh, governance in today's society. Um, so this is just kind of explaining a little bit about why there's so many different factions in Islam. And uh, so far it's been a really good book. I'm only about halfway through the first chapter. They're lengthy chapters, but it's uh, it's been enlightening so far. So I'll keep you updated on that as I go through, but this is a good book I got on Amazon. I will post the link below so that if anyone's interested, they can check it out themselves, but highly recommend it. That's it for this week, guys. That is weeks five and six in a nutshell. Uh, like I've said in past videos, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Feel free to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. And um, I will talk to you guys in the next video and share a little bit more about week seven, which is all land nav this week. So I'll see you guys soon.